Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here to work on So Many Books, So Little Times by Diamond Art Club. It is a 56 by 109. It is a square diamond painting. It has 53 colors. I'm maybe one third done. <laughs> Actually, I could measure the centimeters that I have done, right? Because I have 56 and then I could measure down how much I have done. So I could figure out how much I have all done. So we're gonna start with number seven, which is container number 37 and DMC 900. Because I see a lot of sevens here. So we'll get that going. Now I was supposed to last time, you know, go and get rid of the plastic and put some of this like parchment or waxy paper, whatever it is. I think it's more wax paper than parchment. I totally forgot. Like when I was done, I know I had something else to do. So I just kind of moved on to that. So when I opened it today and the crackling of that plastic, I was like, oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta get rid of that. So I did two rows, two more rows of this. I was going to maybe do more and I'm like, ah, uh, it's not fun to do, you know? So I'm like, two is enough. That's going to get me, um, I think it got me, yes. It got me, like, two more, and we're going to be working on this big pocket watch. So I was like, ooh, that's pretty. Like, I always see the part that, you know, I'm done, because I don't roll it on the top here. I just roll it from the top to the bottom, you know, when I'm done. So I don't get to see the thing all done. I mean, I see it here, but it's it's just different. It is just different to see it in real life. And this morning I was like, what am I going to do next? And I'm like, don't even think about which one you're going to do next. I mean, it's not like a book or a scrapbook page where, you know, when I start a scrapbook page, I know that within an hour or so, it's gonna be done. A book, it might be a few days, it might be a couple of weeks, you know, depending on how uh, long the book is. But this takes forever. <laughs> now, I know some people uh, work on these like, five or six hours a day. One, I guess if I didn't do scrapbooking, right, I might have that time. But two, I don't know if my back could handle it. Like really, I feel like this is far. I don't know if I could bring it maybe a little closer. So I'm gonna have to readjust the camera. Okay, camera readjusted. Yeah, so I don't know if I could do this for, I can read for hours and hours, right? I'll read sitting up, I'll read laying down, I'll read on my Kindle, I'll read a physical book, like I can switch it up. And when I get so exhausted that I don't feel like my eyes can keep up with my brain or my brain keep up with my eyes, a lot of times I'll do an audiobook for a book that I have physically. And then that way, when I get super tired, I still have the physical book in my hands. I just listen to the audiobook and I'll read at the same time. It's just, I usually listen to an audiobook between, I start at 1.5. One, oh my gosh, people talk way too slow. <laughs> I just can't. So I usually start the book at 1.5. And then when I get used to the narrator, then I'll go to 1.7. And then when I'm used to that speed, I go up to 1.8. And then I'll go up to two. Two is kind of the max. And Dave always laughs and says, oh, you're listening to your chipmunk, are you? Because <laughs> he finds that way too fast. He can only listen at one. Like he can't even go beyond one. And um, I said, I don't know how in the world you listen at one. 
like that. I, I would fall asleep every time. It's too slow. But I guess you can listen to the speed at what you read. So I guess I read at, you know, at two times speeds. Oh, I found, I mean, a lot of us are on Goodreads, right? Well, there's a new one out. It's called Storygraph. I'm like, what? And at the end of the year, you can like print, like not just the end of the year, every month, you can print out graphs. Now they have a payable edition. I'm not gonna pay, I think it's like $5 a month, which is not cheap, right? Um, and I don't know if that's the only way you can print the graphs out, I don't know. But I can, I don't know. It says that the graphs are just more details if you pay for, you know, the membership or whatever. But I can just look at the graphs and, you know, if I want to do a scrapbook page about, I don't know, the percentage of genre, you know, for this or that or whatever the case may be. I just literally downloaded the app last night. It's called Storygraph. And you can bring in your Goodreads. like stats and stuff. So you just go on Storygraph, you click on a link. It was really easy. You click on a link, it brings you to Goodread. You say export, you know, my files or whatever. And then all of a sudden, you know, it was on Storygraph. Now I have to say, I reread a book this year because I read the first book in a series and then I kind of didn't continue. And I just wanted to reread. It wasn't a very long book. It was like 300 pages. So I'm like, you know what? I enjoyed it the first time. It's The Secret Gift by Bethany Atazara. Plus, she kind of did a second edition. So there was more, there was like 70 page, no, maybe 50 pages more. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to read it again because there was some content that obviously I didn't remember because I didn't read it. <laughs> so it was awesome. I still loved it. And now in April, I read the second book. And then now in May, today's May 1st, by the way. And um, in May, I'm going to read the last book. And that's how I like to read series, right? I like to go one, two, three, four, five, like whatever, however many amounts of books there is. I like to read them like that. Now, that being said, with Fourth Wing and Iron Flame, it was supposed to be a trilogy. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to start reading it because the second book is coming out. I think it was like in January of this year. And then the third book is going to come out within the year. And I'm okay with that. Like, that's pretty close. But it's now since been announced that there's going to be five books. So I was like, do I stop reading it? Like, not read the second book and just wait, you know, three more years? And I decided no. So I read Iron Flame in, well, I started in March and then I had, in April, I had like five books from the library that became available at the same time. It was actually more than that. I kind of said, you know, pass it to the next person because it was an ebook. Pass it to the next person for like three, three or four books. Like it was insane. And you say, but why did you, you know, do that? Why did you, you know, because you can go up to seven holds. Well, I all I chose all books that had like a 15 wait, 15 week wait period. And I'm like, okay, well, that gives me a lot of time to finish the books that I want to read right now. And, you know, then they'll come available in a few months. And, you know, there was going to be a few that was going to be available right away. Well, lo and behold, the library acquired more copies. So they all became available at the same time. So I had to put Iron Flame on the back burner because I own that book. I don't buy a lot of books anymore. 
Last year, I think I bought three. Fourth wing being one. And what was the others? I think I bought a few, like three, maybe it was four. Uh, I bought three from Book Outlet or something like that. I think I bought one new one. This year, I've only bought one, and it is the new Sarah J. Mass Crescent City. And I haven't even started that, that um, trilogy yet. I think it's a trilogy. I haven't even started that yet. I need to read, well, I guess the other one, it's a second trilogy. I was going to say I need to read A Court of Silver and Flames or something, but I think that is starting a second trilogy. So in the other two books, there's no like release dates. So I really don't want to start that one. So I think what I'm going to start next, as far as big trilogies, you know, that there's like six, seven, eight hundred pages is Chain of Gold by Cassandra K Clare. I think that's the first one, Chain of Gold, which is the Shadow Hunter world. I haven't read books in that world in so long, so I'm excited. I'm going to start that in May. But I wanted to finish Iron Flame first, and I finished it yesterday. Man, three days ago, I'm like, there's no way. I'm not going to be able to finish this before the end of April because uh, there's only three days left and I have 425 pages. And I'm like, you know what? Just go for it. I did have the audiobook for it, but I also did read with my eyes. So I would put the audiobook on to kind of, you know, move me along and then I would read it. There's, it was, oh, can you believe it was Lexi's birthday on Saturday? She turned one. So I had to make a stuff for her birthday party. I made a pasta salad and I made a veggie tray and I made some cupcakes. And uh, so that took me a few hours on Friday. The party was on Saturday. I did the icing on Saturday and iced the cupcakes. I did that on Saturday morning and I cut the veggies because you know veggies you don't want to cut those too many days in advance and actually there's uh, quite a few veggies left over so today that is one of my goals today I'm going to sit down and I'm going to cut more uh, veggies I won't have any peppers but that's okay um, and I'm going to make more veggie, I guess, prep veggies, and then I freeze them in gallon bags. And then like tonight, that's what we're gonna have. Although I'll probably just do a fresh one tonight and freeze the rest, you know what I mean? Um, so tonight we'll have, I don't know, veggies with something. I'm not sure what yet. I don't know, I'm getting kind of tired of all the meats. That makes sense. Last night, ooh, last night I made this new dish. We'd never had it before. We love scalloped potatoes. So I had seen this on, I think it was on Facebook. Anyway, um, you take mushroom soup with some sour cream, not very healthy, and milk and you make like a sauce and you cut up potatoes with onions and you cook some hamburger and then you layer it like you would um, a scalloped potato and you bake it in the oven. Oh man, it was good. So next time when I make a ham, I'm gonna make regular scalloped potatoes and then with the leftovers, I'm gonna make this recipe but instead of putting ham I'm going to put instead of putting hamburger I'm going to put ham I think that's going to be delicious so yeah it's nine o'clock in the morning and I'm already thinking about supper I just don't like 
to try to figure out. I don't mind cooking. I hate figuring out what I want to cook. And um, I'm kind of getting my bearing, you know, because I started watching the baby because my daughter went back to work on, she went back to work when she was 11 months old, like on the day on March 27th. So it's taken me about a month to kind of get used to that routine because I have her two days one week and three days the other. And, you know, I'm on Patreon for scrapbooking. So I need to plan out my stuff there, make sure that, you know, everything is done ahead of time. And so I'm getting my bearings on there for the, today's May 1st, like I said. And today, after I'm done with the videos I'm going to do today, I'm just going to have three videos left to do for the month of May, which is awesome. And last night, she had her one-year-old needles yesterday. Poor little girl. And so she went home early. So what I ended up doing is I ended up editing, I don't even know how many videos. It was a lot. It was a lot. And I've got them up, uploaded to Vimeo. And I even have them uploaded to Patreon and scheduled and everything's ready to go. And that takes a few hours too. Filming them takes, you know, a few hours, but editing also takes a long time. Then I edited another um, diamond painting video. And actually, it's being uploaded right now as I'm filming this. I'm like, you know what? You're uploading one right now. Go out there and film another one right away. Well, you'll never get this diamond painting done this year, right? You got to stay committed. I said I was going to do 52. So now I'm behind because there's no way. Because that was 11. So one a, one a week, I should be like at... 4, 8, 12, 16. So I'm five behind, right? That's what I love about saying I was going to do like 52 because it's easy for me to see how far behind I am. So what I'm going to do is upload one another one on Saturday. I'm filming one today that's going to be for next week. So it's May 1st, so it's just going to go up on May four, five, six, seven, May 7th. And then tomorrow, before I start my day, I'm going to film another one because I'm going to try and upload two for as long as I can. You know what I mean? And try to catch up that way. So I'm going to try and upload, did I say on Tuesday? No, it'll be May 8th. Because I'm going to try and upload on Wednesday and Saturday diamond painting for a little bit. Probably the whole month of May. Tomorrow I'm going to go live and work on some scrapbooking stuff. And then I'm going to try and do a, another scrapbooking video for this week tomorrow. I'm going live at 1 tomorrow. I mean, this will be... Um, next week so it'll be too late to but I've already put up the announcement you know like upcoming so it's already on my channel next week I'm going to have Monday and Tuesday off so I'll try to do a live on Tuesday and then I, oh I have Friday off too so maybe I'll try to do the live on Friday instead and then use Monday and Tuesday to really try to get ahead, you know, do videos for diamond painting, do videos for YouTube and catch up on Patreon and then go up live on Friday. Maybe that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. So next week I'll go live on May 10th. Oh, I can't. May 10th is, um, 
Mason has a hockey tournament. I'm glad I worked that out. So it'll have to be Monday or Tuesday. Probably Tuesday afternoon. I'll probably do it at 1 until I'm pretty much caught up. You know, maybe I'm not caught up. I'm a month ahead. Because right now I'm still working the month that I'm in, right? So once I'm ahead, oh, and I'm going to a crop on June 1st. So I'm hoping to be able to do 10 to 15 layouts. That's going to be, I'm there for 12 hours. So I'm going to say some layouts are going to take me an hour and maybe a few I can do in 30 minutes, right? So between 10 and 15. And then that'll give me some content for a while. I'm going to try and do that once in a while now. Like if she does one in June, oh, that is in June. If she does one in July, which I don't think she will, she might do one in August. So if she does one in August, I'm definitely gonna go. And then I'll have videos for a while, right? That's gonna be a way that I can catch up. Oh, I read, let's talk about books I read. I don't know why I thought of that, but I read The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston. Oh my gosh. I read a few of her uh, young adults. They're okay, like, they're okay. But her adult ones, I hope she keeps writing adult ones. I read The Seven Year Slip which I love. It wasn't a five star for me, but I loved. It was like a four star. Ooh, one thing about star graph, uh, star, no, story graph, is you can do half stars. What, what? Which I wish Goodreads would do, right? Um, Because sometimes I would give it like four and a half, but I don't want to do like five. You know what I mean? Um. Five, it'll be like, I'll think about that book a lot and I'm not going to forget it, right? Like her other book, The Dead Romantics. <gasps> I loved that book. Love that book. So that was a five star. I had a lot of five stars like right in a row. I read from... The Graceling series, I read the last book, which was Sea Sparrow. Out of all the series, that's the only one I gave five stars to. I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. So, I had The Dead Romantics, that was five stars. I had Sea Sparrow, that was five stars. I had Iron Flame, that was five stars. I know a lot of people hate on Iron Flame, like that whole series. To me, it kept me entertained. I wanted to read it more. I know it looks like it took me forever to read it. That's the library's fault because it gave me a whole bunch of books that was ready all at once. And, you know, I, the library, you only get the books for so long. So, Sometimes you can renew and a lot of times you can't. So right now I only have, uh, and I can't remember, so I'm jumping all over the place. Um, I can't remember if there was any other five stars. Iron Flame, Sea Sparrow, The Dead Romantics. I think that was it in April as far as five stars. So the ones that I have from the library right now is Feybound. And of course, I thought it was a standalone book. Nope, it's part of a series. <laughs> and it doesn't even have an expected date for book two. And I'm like, oh my gosh, seriously. So I haven't read much of it. I think I'm on chapter three. So 28 pages. I like it up to now. Um, it has phase, I think, 
quite a few different, let's say species or whatever. And we're, we've only followed really one character up to now. Yura, Yuran, Yuran. And um, so, I mean, I don't know. I It sounds interesting. I like the chapters that I read. And um, so today I'll try to read probably just one chapter because I'm also reading Steel, no, Sky Hunter by Marie Lu. And that is one of my books. And I'm trying to read more from my books and not always the library, right? Because I have, uh, literally, I have my own library because it says if you have more than a thousand books, you have your own library. I have more than a thousand books. And that's why I don't buy any books anymore. Now, I've read quite a few. I don't know how many. I think that would be a fun thing to do at one point. Kind of take all my books out. One, because um, some of my series are not all together and I'd like to put them together. Um, now, the big dilemma is, do I put them together only once they're red or I put them together? Do I put all my all reds, all red book on one shelf or two shelves or how many shelves it would fill? Because right now it feels more than, it does fill more than one. I have one shelf completely full. I cannot put any more books on it. And I start it on another shelf. Plus, I have in my closet, we have those like built-ins or whatever. And I have books on the top shelf. Now, wouldn't I rather, you know, have something else in my closet? Probably. So that's part of the reason why I want to work on that, I don't know when I'll be able to do that. Man, that's a big project because I also want to clean up my closet. I also want to clean up my closet. Once we move our stuff in our trailer, I think that's when I'll clean my closet because, oh no, I did it again. There's a lot of stuff that goes in my trailer that are on shelves in there or stacked on the floor. So I uh, gotta do that. So once it's in there, I'm gonna take the time. I'm gonna take out everything that's in there and I'm gonna clean it. I'd like to do that to my cupboards too. Go through the cupboards and if I haven't used it in, you know, X amount, I mean, we've been in here for six years. If I haven't used it in the six years, just get rid of it. Okay, let's do that one right there. Number 16, 498. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna try and just do like an hour. Now I've had to stop the recording quite a few times. Usually if I don't stop the recording, I can go, oh, I've been recording for this long, but mm, I had to stop the recording. So I don't know how long it's been. But today I have till probably eight o'clock to get stuff done because Mason has, um, practice tonight, hockey practice. And I've kind of decided that, you know, I can't, I want to be there, but I can't always be there, especially now that I'm babysitting the baby. Like a lot of times, uh, if she's here, like I'm going to his games, whether she's here or not, I brought her to two hockey games. She did so well. It was a lot to bring her in. I'm not used to bring the stroller, bring this, bring that. You know what I mean? Like, oof, <laughs> that was a lot. But she did so good. 
both games. She was, I knew, it was right in her nap time. And I just put her up against, you know, laid her head on my shoulder. And I put her right to sleep during the hockey game. <laughs> she slept like 40 minutes. This is the second one, especially because the game finished and her mom was going to meet us at the arena. And I told her, I said, uh, just come inside because she's sleeping and it'll give her, you know, a few more minutes to sleep. So she did. So she slept about 40 minutes. The first one, she slept about half an hour, which was pretty good. And then that day I went on a walk and she slept about 45 minutes in the stroller. So... She's doing really good. It's sad though. You know what I'm afraid of? I'm afraid like she doesn't like that her mom is not with her all day. You can tell like her mom was the biggest part of her life. And now all of a sudden she doesn't see her from, you know, 7.30 in the morning till, she, till like 5.30. Like that's a long time. My daughter works from eight to five. So that's a long time, you know, I feel so bad. So there's a lot of days that is spent um, just holding her and hugging her. Now, the good thing is, is like I said, one week, um, her husband works shift work. So, and it's all days. So it's not as if like he needs a day to to sleep. Do you know what I mean? It's all days. So, uh, he, like today, he's with her today and he's going to be with her tomorrow. And then I'm going to have her on Friday. So at least she gets to stay home, I guess is what I'm saying, you know? And, um, so that's good. I feel bad. So I don't just put her to bed and get her to sleep. <laughs> She, she is not hard to put to sleep. We, I, I start it and I do like a routine and um, she loves it. She, when I can tell when she gets tired, she's supposed to go to bed at 10 o'clock. But you know what? If she shows signs at like 9.30, 9.40, I start the routine. And then I don't get any issues to get, get her to go to sleep because I don't wait till she's like overtired, right? So... Her dad is also a musician. He's in a band. And um, they released a song. Like he has a full-time job, but he does this on the side just for fun, right? And um, they released a song. It's on iTunes. And um, I purchased it when they, you know, and that's her. And it's punk rock. I'll put it, I'll put it out there that it's punk rock. So it's not a slow song. And I put that on. And as soon as she hears that song, she gets right excited. And I, she puts her head down on my shoulder. And the song is a pretty long song. It's like five minutes something. And by the end of the first song, she is asleep every time. And then I put it on play again. And then I just, because, you know, she's probably not deep, deep in sleep. And then I put it on again. And about halfway through the song, so two minutes in, two and a half minutes in, then I walk over to her crib, because I have a crib here for her. And I set her down. And she sleeps. She's not a long sleeper. 35 minutes is the longest. 35, 40 minutes is the longest that she sleeps. But, you know, I usually, instead of running around and getting super, you know, because it is taking a lot out of me, she's super easy to babysit. But I'm not used to having a one-year-old. <laughs> it's been a few years. So I'm exhausted so I just lay down in the room that she's in and I read for 30 minutes, not long. So I read a chapter or so and then she wakes up and then 
You know, then she's got to have her bottle and then an hour later she has to have lunch and my days are so full, I am not bored. <laughs> I usually, every, t every day I have her, I call my mom and we FaceTime and so she gets to talk to the baby. So that's, that's my day. I don't try to do too much else. Now, we are going, for my scrapbooking side, we are going to have some physical products soon. So I'm preparing for it. We have a new collection that's going to come out, I'm hoping, this week. And I just... Um, I just cut and packaged, I don't know, maybe 30 or 40 in preparation of the launch of the physical products. Now next I'm gonna do stickers for that collection and I'm gonna do buttons. So I'm hoping I can start the buttons by this weekend. And then I still have to do buttons for the other collections. He, he just hasn't done the file for it yet. So I'm like, you gotta do the files. Those are gonna take me so long to do because of my wrist. I used to be able to press, you know, 100 buttons, no problem. Now I'm hoping that doing that will strengthen, because it's like exercise, right? It will strengthen my wrist, but I'm gonna start with maybe, you know, uh, there's 12 buttons in the collection, if you will, each collection. So I'm hoping to get one or two collections done and then have to take a break. And so um, the cutting of the die cuts, I can do that when she's here because I set it up in my soap room, my silhouette machine. So what I do is I have a couple of Cricut mats and I'll go in there. It takes me two seconds. She's in her little, and it's like literally the bedroom's there and she's there in her playpen so I can hear her. It literally takes me not even 20 seconds to load it and push because um, I have it all set up. You know, before she gets here, I have it all set up. Actually, I have the first sheet already cutting by the time she gets here. Then I can close the door. I had it on my counter for the longest time, but it's so loud. So now having it in that room, I can just shut the door. And then it's not loud in here. And I might cut maybe five in a whole day. So it's not as if I'm in there every you know, 10 minutes and getting, you know, sheets done. It's just once in a while when I think of it, I'll go in and I'll put a sheet on. And I usually get like five done in a day. So, and don't forget, before she gets here, I usually have one already going. So I, I get like maybe four. <laughs> done, but that's okay. That's okay. At least I'm getting something done. I'm going to try and get maybe uh, when she's playing, I play with her a lot, but I'm also trying to teach her to be a little independent and, you know, so I'll get her to play. She'll play for like maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes by herself, but I think it's because she's missing her mom too. So then as soon as she starts to, you know, she lets me know. And then she doesn't really cry. She's a good baby. And um, so I'll go and pick her up. And then we play. We read books. She loves reading books. So I got to go get, we, uh, we have a secondhand store that just opened here. It's Once Upon a Child. And they'll have like, you know, a bunch of books. So I'll go get books so that I can, I don't want to play, pay full price for them, right? So I'll go and see if I can get her some books. I guess her favorite is the Pout Pout Fish, so I might get one of those. Um, I'll get one of those 
new if I can't find it there for sure. I don't mind because it's her favorite. So, And she loves Miss Rachel, so I'm teaching her signing. Um, I'm teaching her... Right now, she knows milk and she knows more. Now I'm trying to teach her eat. And I'm learning them so then later... I'll be able to teach her, but that's together, and that's happy. That's again, stop, uh, friends, what else? I know, I know, not a lot, but I know quite a few. I know water, you do this, like, and you hit it on your chin. I know mother, or mama, dada, mother, father, grandmother, grandfather, and what else? Happy together again. Stop. What else more? Eat. Thank you. Uh, uh, more than that, but I just can't remember right now. I can't remember which one. Hockey. <laughs> We have um, a mom on Mason's team, and she is deaf, so I was telling her that I'm trying to learn sign language. And she said, one important one is hockey, and she showed me hockey. So that was, that was fun. So they say it helps with their frustration because they can let you know even before they can start talking, you know? Oh, I know, I know like I want, so I can teach her like I want and then she can tell me what she wants. She doesn't know how to do it yet, but we're gonna work on that. When she gets older, I'm gonna, you know, work on her colors with her and I'm gonna download a whole bunch. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can download on the internet and make file folder games. So I'm gonna be doing those. I have a laminate machine so I can laminate them and make them, you know, a little bit more permanent so she can use them over and over and over again. But right now, Katie had bought me that book uh, so I'm, I'm not the one that bought it for myself, but the one book I have is My Grandma is Great. <laughs> so we're reading that one on repeat right now because she can sit there and I will read it like six times in a row. And then she goes to the front of the book and turns to the front, the first page. <laughs> uh, like read it again. So that is fun. That is fun. It's going to keep me young. I go for walks with her. Uh, she loves outdoors, so I go for walks. And that's good for me, right? That's good for me. I'm going to try and go this afternoon. 70% chance of rain. So I'm going to look on the weather app and see when it doesn't call for rain for like an hour. And then I'm going to go. And what I do is, like right now, I start saying that I am reading Sky Hunter. And um, I have the audiobook too. I have the physical book, but I have the audiobook. So what I do is, when I go on my walk, I listen to the audiobook for however long I am walking. So then I feel like I'm doing something, right? So while I'm cooking supper, I'll put on the audiobook. And so I'll, you know, try to get a little bit more books read this year, maybe, by doing that a little bit more. I need to get back to the Wheel of Time series. Uh, and those, I listen to them on audiobook. I think I have them all on Audible to like, I don't know, 13 or 14 or something like that. Now I'll wait because I'm only on book three. And I think Dave is on book five or something. So even him, it's going to take him a while to get to those other ones. 
So I kind of paused my Audible membership because we have enough that we haven't listened to, right? So we're going to kind of catch up to the ones that we already have. I also have, used to be Scribd, but now it's Everand. And so I have that. And what I did was um, I paid for a year membership for that. So now I don't have to pay monthly. I'm trying to do that for most things. So then it's just done, right? Like, cause I have Canva. I played, I paid yearly for Canva. It's done. Vimeo, I paid yearly for Vimeo. And what else? Everand, I paid yearly for that. So I'm hoping to switch to that and then you have a bill once a year and then it's just done instead of every month. Okay, let's see. Let's see to make sure I didn't forget any. Oh, there's some down here. There's two there right on the cusp. So I guess three. We'll do those. We'll do those. Oh, one right there. Yay, I'm glad I... Because that would have bothered me. One. It's always just one, right? So I'm hoping to do an hour and a half today of this. What I might do is what I've been doing is go film other videos. And then what I do is come back come back and um, then finish the video. Okay, so what I did was I looked at the time. So it's 10.08. I started at 9.20. So 15 minutes now. And it's going to be um, an hour. So then we'll stop. I'll go film a few videos and then we'll come back. So we'll do that one there, which is five, the container, and then DMC 300. So yeah, let's finish talking about books. I didn't really finish here. I'm all over the place. Um, so Sky Hunter, it is, well, from what I can tell up to now, that too, I'm only like 13 pages in, like even less than the other one. So what I can tell is it's almost like, I don't know, maybe post-apocalyptic. And um, there is ghosts, which at first I thought, you know, ghosts, but they sound more like half vampires and half... Um, like zombies, and it's a group. I don't know if it's, they call them the Federation. So I don't know if it's the government or whatever that turned the humans into um, those beings or creatures or whatever they are. So I, oh, that's not it. Like I said, I'm only 13 pages in, but if I go for a 40 minute walk today, I'm hoping to get a few chapters in done that way. And I plan on getting to page 100 today. So that's another goal for today. I plan on filming uh, three videos, including this one. So two more, maybe three more. And then reading 100 pages, cutting up the veggies. What else? Oh, I have to plant. I started, last year I planted stuff like at the end of March and it was way too early. Our last frost date here, it says like it's in May, but it's not. Like it's really cold till very long. So I'm going to, um, I waited a little too long though, I think. I wish I probably would have planted maybe we're going to do number three right now, which is 165. No, 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 no. Yes. 
but it's not 165, it's container 12, and it is DMC 351. Um, yeah, I probably, I wish I would have planted maybe a week and a half ago to two weeks ago, like maybe mid-April, and I plant it at the end of April. But I'm making notes. But now we're May 1st, and I'm just going to plant my celery today. So we'll see if I get anything. Just so much other stuff, right? Ugh. But we'll do what we can. We'll do what we can. Now this weekend, Dave is gonna start making, we need two more beds. So he's gonna do one bed for sure this weekend. Maybe a second, one, one bed for sure. Maybe the next weekend he can do another bed. I would love to get three more. I, I wanted six more this year. I had made plans for six, but that's not gonna happen. So if I could do half of that, I would be happy. Um, so if you can build one this weekend, maybe one next weekend, and then maybe one a couple weeks after that, because they're not cheap to build one. And then you gotta buy the soil to go in, which is also not cheap. Then you have to buy like amendments to put in and all that. We want a chicken coop. That's not gonna happen this year. I really wanted it to happen this year, but he said what he can do maybe is this year um, try to get, because we have an old barn that we can probably get enough lumber off of it to build um, the chicken coop. So what we're gonna try to do is gather the lumber, maybe start building it this year so that it's ready for next year, right? We don't want to build a big, big one. I want maybe a dozen chickens. That's it. A dozen chickens. That's all I want. And um, I don't think I want a rooster. I don't think at this point we want to, you know, have little chicks. I just want chickens for now, one thing at a time. Eventually, I would love to buy an incubator. And I even have one on Amazon, like on my wish list. And it went it went on 50% it, off, like, I don't know, a few months ago. And I was like, oh, I want it so bad. <laughs> would it be terrible if I bought it now and just didn't use it for two years? <laughs> I'm sure it'll go on again, right? So I didn't buy it. Okay, well that's done. It just feels weird to finish that quickly because that number seven took four. Oh my goodness, I keep dropping stuff. What is going on? Um, that number seven took forever. Now I don't, I don't lose any of this one here because there is not a lot left. So I don't want to lose a, one of those. Let's do the arrow down. I think before I put this one away, the, the thing away today, I want to make sure that I use the roller on it today. So the arrow down is container 30, which is DMC 814. So there's a few of those. So let's put quite a bit because there's also some here. So that's good. I just feel like I didn't get much done today on this. I don't know why. But I think if I do another half hour, that'd be great. Because my goal, remember, is um, to do one of this section in two, like two sitting down sessions. So that means whatever I don't get done this time, I have to do all of it, the rest of it next time. That seems like a lot. So the more I can do this time, I'm definitely going to do an hour and a half. Okay, so anyway, I was talking about um, Sky Hunter. 
So I'm not very far in. And talking about sign language, the main character is unable to speak and it was something to do. She got exposed to something and it affected her vo vocal cords when she was eight. And so she's signing and I'm like, oh, that's cool. And um, I don't know if I've read a I main character before. I, d I don't remember if I did. Um, that you sign signing. And so they're the warriors. I would, I would imagine the sky hunters. I don't know. Like I said, I'm only 13 pages in. I don't know. Sky hunter to me is in the air, but they seem to be on the ground right now. So I don't know if they go up in a spaceship. Like I really, I never read the synopsis. Never. Um, the reason I'm reading this book is because it's by Marie Lu and she wrote the legend series and I love that. And uh, she wrote a bunch of other stuff that I read. It's funny because when I first started back into reading in 2016, you know, I was introduced to all kinds of new, you know, re uh, authors. And uh, I was reading, consuming everything that they've written, you know, like Cassandra Clare and Sarah J. Mass. And I was reading all their series. And then... Um, then I started reading more and more and more, and I had already read their series, and it was new series, and I'm like, well, I don't want to read it until it's done. So now I'm kind of going back to my authors that I really enjoy, so that's fun. Um, so I'm reading Marie Lu. I just read a Victoria uh, V.E. Schwab book not that long ago. And I'm going to read another one here shortly by V.E. Schwab. I don't know if I'm going to read it in April or if I'm going to read, or April, May or June. But I'm going to read uh, something, The Life, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. That's what it's called. And so I'm going to read that either in May or in June. I haven't decided yet because I'm reading Chain of Gold and that, I don't know, it's 600 or 700 pages, something crazy. And I think I'm going to read The Women by Christine Hanna. And I think that's like almost 500 pages too. So that's another big book. Sky Hunter is 371, which is not too, too bad, but it's almost 400 pages, right? Uh, the Secret... Oh, what is it? The last one. It was the secret gift, the secret shadow, and the secret something or other. I haven't started reading it, so I don't know what it is. But it's the secret something by Bethany Atazada. That's only 299 pages. So I'm like, yep, I can do that. So I'm going to do that one too. The Last Apothecary I want to read in May. And that's 301 pages. So that's not too, too bad. So I'm trying to mix, you know, some 300 page books with those crazy 600 page books. So it feels like I'm getting something accomplished because otherwise it doesn't feel like you get anything accomplished. And Faye Bound, I think is 400 pages right on. So that's, you know, not a small book, not a small book. So I'm reading those two right now. So by the time I finish that, it's going to be 371 pages or 403, 771 pages done in just two books. What I'd like to do, because I have a reading journal, right? I've been watching a lot of reading journal um, videos and I would love to be able to do like a monthly spread, but I'm like, could I keep up with that? I don't know if I could. I would love to, but could I keep up with it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Because I would love to write 
the number of pages read in a month. Like I'd like to see from month to month to month how many pages I read, how many books I read. But I think the pages is more t telling than um, the number of books because you can read a whole bunch of novellas, right? But the number of pages that says how many, you know, because you could, if you read a two, 600 or 700 page book, like that's 1200 pages, like that's four 300 page books, right? So I think the number of pages is more telling. And with StoryGraph, it'll tell me every month how many pages I read. So I'd love to be able to put that down somewhere. So I don't know. I don't want to make it so that it's like super decorated because then, then it's a big commitment, right? I don't want to start doing a whole bunch of stamping and this and that and because then it's going to take too long and then I'm not going to keep up with it because I'm already doing, you know, quite a bit of scrapbooking and that kind of stuff. So I uh, don't want that big of a commitment, but it looks like fun. It really looks like fun to keep track of that stuff. And I'm very much so like statistics stuff like that, I guess, you know. I like those kinds of statistics, keeping track of that. So I think what we're gonna do is finish this here, like the down arrow. And then we're gonna stop and I'm gonna go work on some other videos. And then we'll come back. And I'm gonna do another half hour. And I think what I'll do when I come back is I'm going to concentrate on the green because then that'll finish an area, right? Like this area and maybe this and that. I should be able to get that done in half an hour, especially if I don't go over here. You know, like with all these colors, I've had... Not I've had to, but I've been doing over here too. So it's taking a little longer. 30. Now I had to stop the recording again. So now I'm going to have to remember time again. Should be no more than 10 minutes. It's going to be a little bit more. It's going to be over an hour by like five minutes. But I think that's what it's going to take me to finish this. So... Basically, finish this and be done. So, so I have a lot to do today. And I did wake up. It was like six something. I should have read. I was watching YouTube videos, but I should have read instead. And then I would have had a uh, jump on the 100 pages I want to read in that book and the one or two chapters I want to read in Feybound, right? So, so from my collection, I guess my books this month, I want to read um, Sky Hunter. And that is a duology. And I don't have the second book and I don't plan on buying it because remember, I gave myself 10 books to buy this year. That's it. And if I can go even under that, I'm going to. Now, it is at the library. So, you know, next month I'm going to just borrow it. So I kind of, yes, it's not in my collection when I do that. But am I going to buy a book just so I can finish a series that I've already started? No. No. You know, I if I read it from the library, at least it made it so I didn't have to buy the book. So that's good. I guess all library books is like that, I guess, eh? But especially when it's a series like Winter Keep and Sea Sparrow, 
that was finishing a series for me. So instead of buying, I had winter keep, but I didn't have sea sparrow. So I got sea sparrow from the library. So even though technically it wasn't from, you know, my library here, it made it so I didn't have to spend money to read it, which is bonus, right? Bonus, bonus, bonus. So that's good. That is excellent. And that's what we need to do. Okay. So there's that one. The Lost Apothecary is from my collection. Chain of Gold is from my collection. I checked and the library also has it on ebook. And it looks like I could borrow it. So I'm gonna borrow it so then I can read it physically. I can um, read it on ebook if my arm gets tired because that's a big book. <laughs> and I think I even have it on audiobook through Everand. So I'll have all three to read that one, but it's a physical book that I have here. So I want to read that. I want to read American Royals by Catherine McGee. That too, like I have, I think the first two books in physical, then I bought the rest on ebook when it was really cheap like $1.99, so I'm okay with that. At first, I was like, oh, I need the physical book. Now I'm like, oh, I want to declutter. I don't want all those books. So I might, I don't want to jump the gun and get rid of them, you know, like put them up for sale or whatever. I want to think about it first, see if I can maybe, I don't know, um, make it so that, it looks nice on the bookshelves, you know what I mean? So then I don't have to, because right now it just annoys me because I have books in front of books and I don't like that. I want just one layer of book or books, I guess. And then, oop, did my order come in? I ordered, I have a steam mop, which I love by the way. And I've had the same like covers like to put over the steam mop since 2021. So I figured it was time to buy some new ones. And they were on sale. They were $10 off and I got six of them. So that should last me if two of them lasted me three years. Six should last me <laughs> nine years. <laughs> So I shouldn't have to buy any for a long time, which is good. Yeah, I love that steam mop for in the trailer, but during the winter, what I do is I bring it inside and I use it inside, like in my house. In the trailer, it's perfect because, you know, you're camping in the mud and I mean, we do have a mat at the entrance and all that, but it's still, still a little messy, you know? So I just put it in there for the summer. It's only a couple months and what I do is, you know, I'll bring it home when I'm like, oh, I should wash my floors. I'll bring it home or I use my regular mop. You know, it's only for a couple months, so. I don't mind. How did I get on my, oh, cause I heard, I thought I heard someone on the deck. Um, so what else? American Royal. What else? Oh, Twice Shy. That's been, what I do is I have a small Billy bookcase and what I do is all the books I want to read in, let's say in 2024, 
They're all lined up there. And then I have a specific shelf where I put the books that I want to read that month. So let's say at the end of April, I went through and I found um, all the books that I wanted to read for May and I stuck, stuck them in there. So that book is in there. So I might want to read that one this month. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna stop it here. I'm gonna go film some other stuff and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna try and finish this. And apparently a little bit up here. <laughs> but this part here. And then next time I think I can get this done. Let's keep going. We're gonna start with V, which is number uh, DMC 890. Number 34, it's been a few hours later. <laughs> Quite a few hours later. I fed my sourdough, which, oh man, I started sourdough, I think it was back in February. Like I made my own starter from scratch and I haven't named it yet. I don't know if it's going to be a her or him or haven't named my sourdough. I want to name my sourdough. I just can't think of a good name. So for now, it's just, maybe I could call it, call it doughy. <laughs> I don't know what I could call it. Uh, so I fed my sourdough. I made, well, I made two breads a couple days ago and it's a long process, right? But I've come to sort of an easier way, I guess. I still want the sourdough benefit. So this easy way that people are talking about where they just take their discard and then they feed it and then they let it rise that day and then they cook it that day. That's all fine and dandy, but I want the the benefits of sourdough. So what I do though, is let's say when we, when I first cook or bake the bread, what I do is the next day is I make the leaven in the morning, in the afternoon, I do the stretch and fold and all that. Then I leave it on my counter for a couple of hours and then I put it in the fridge when I go to bed. And it can stay up there up to four or five days. So then the next time we need a bread, it's not as if I have to do the whole like leaven thing all over again, you know what I mean? And then, you know, let's say if we run out of bread today, well, doing that long process takes a long time so if we need bread for tonight it's not going to happen <laughs> you know what I mean because it's just a long process I do the stretch and folds I do the six stretch and folds and you know and the the health benefits of sourdough is that it starts breaking down those hard um, proteins or whatever in the bread it starts to break it down for you now, if you are gluten, like if you're allergic or if you're celiac, it's it's not going to help. You know, you need gluten-free stuff. But if you have a stomach that is just, mm, you have a hard time, like that mine, I have a hard time um, digesting stuff, some stuff, especially bread. It's been a lifesaver. I don't get the stomach aches I used to get. Now I do take probiotics uh, daily, so that's helped too. But even if, I don't know if you've heard, but even people that have heart conditions and diabetic, they're told not to eat store-bought bread. So this way here, like the other day I made two breads because I knew I was gonna have to cook one right away the next day. Okay, now we're gonna move to tea. So I made two. And then that way, 
the next day I baked one right away so it didn't ferment as much. It still fermented as much as what they recommend, you know, like overnight in the fridge. So it, it still did that. But man, the ones that stay in the fridge for three or four days, they are so sour. Mm, they're so good. So I made two because I knew that the next day I was going to bake one right away. And now... Um, in a couple of days, we're going to need bread again. I just need to take it out of the fridge. I heat up my oven first. I take um, a metal container, I guess. It's to, like if you owned a restaurant in those big uh, metal bowls almost but they're square I fill that with water and I put it under my bread like under my Dutch oven and you know I put my oven at 425 450 and let it warm up the Dutch oven and everything or I have a bread oven and then I put my bread in, I cook it for 35 minutes or bake it for 35 minutes. Then I take the lid off or the mine is a dome lid. And then I just leave it or bake it for another 10 minutes uncovered. And then the bread is cooked. And it's so yummy. And then with the discard, I make waffles. I make tons of waffles. And Lexi love, loves waffles, so I give some to her. Mason loves waffles. He says the perfect thing before school. It's easy. He just puts it in the toaster. And, you know, two min four minutes later, it's ready. And um, I, if I want a snack at night, I'll, I can have one waffle. So I love the waffles and I make some about once a week. I make a double batch and it makes about 20. And then, you know, we'll have some here and then when we get, uh, I'll make some for them. And when they run out, they let me know and then I make more. So let's do that one right there. And that is number nine, which is DMC 321. So there you go. Oh, and there's some up there, so we'll do that too. So I, the, the weirdest thing happened to me upstairs. I started filming, was it my first video up there? I think it was. Anyway, my vision got super, super blurry and I got super dizzy. Now, I thought of it after and it's probably a migraine that's coming on Usually it's the white flash though. It's not the blurry vision, but who knows? I was so like, ugh. But it only lasted like 20 seconds and it went away. And I hadn't eaten yet, so I still did three videos while I was up there. Then I came downstairs and I had one of those pieces of breads that I made, sourdough bread with peanut butter. And... Then I had lots of water too. I might have been a little bit dehydrated. But one thing's for sure, I'm not going for a walk today. I think I'm going to finish this. And I might I need to I need to plant stuff though. I don't feel like doing it, but I got to do it. <laughs> oh, I got to go water this stuff too that's already planted or go check on it or whatever, see if it germinated yet or... So, then what else do I have to do? I, had to, I wanted to cut those veggies today. I might not do that. I might take it a little easy this afternoon and just sit down and just read. And I might edit, I'm gonna have four videos to edit, so I can maybe edit two, because when I when I leave like yesterday, I I think I edit 
I edit it <laughs> like five videos. That was an entire afternoon. It took me forever to edit and upload to, you know, Vimeo or YouTube or whatever the case may be. And then once I do that part for Patreon, then I have to go and bring the links over, right, to Patreon and stuff. And so if I can do two this afternoon, and I have some hockey videos too I have to edit. So maybe I'll do two and I'll do two hockey videos. I have to try to get those done. I didn't do any of the last tournament they were at. So, and I still have to do the December tournament. I didn't do that one. See, if I leave it and I don't do it, then it gets backlog, backlog. So I'd rather just do it. And they have one, not this weekend, but next weekend. It's in our city, so it's not as bad. But it's still going to be at least four videos that I have to edit. So uh, we'll, we'll get it done. We will get it done. And then I think I'd like, I, I do want to, what do you call it? Plant this afternoon. I don't want to push it anymore. But maybe I, after this, I can take a little break again and read. I didn't read the last time. I just had my sandwich and I watched one video and then Dave called and I talked to him for 10 minutes and that was it. That was my break. So I think I'd like a little longer break. What time is it? I think it's like one something. So I might like a break till almost supper time. I don't know what I'm gonna do for supper now. I might just use some of the veggies that are already frozen, then it's no work, right? I just need to take it out, stick it in the oven. Then I don't have to worry about cutting anything up or anything like that. So. Let's do that. I'll do a little bit right here just to get that. I don't like that that's like that, you know what I mean? I should do those threes. Okay. Just like that. Okay. done. Okay. So what did I want to do? At least finish this, right? Oh, I was going to do all the green first. Oh, it doesn't matter. This was a big section, so it's good. It's good. It's good. So I didn't pick this up in between going upstairs and doing the other videos. So I'm definitely going to be picking this up before because I do it on my kitchen counter. So I don't like it sitting there, even going upstairs and filming other videos and then coming back and this is happening. It's like, mm, I don't like doing that, but I didn't want to Put everything away just to take it out. I probably wouldn't have taken it out again. <laughs> Even though it's not like a lot of work, it's like, eh. An hour is good. Although I really wanna get as much done as possible. I can't wait. I'm trying to figure out, you know, how, what, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> How I'm gonna frame this once it's done, you know? I'm gonna to wanna to put it on the wall. Now, not all diamond painting will go on the wall, but I have a reading chair. I read a lot. I can tell you, 
I'm close. When I look in the viewfinder, I can see all like the books here, but being this close to it, I wasn't really paying attention. And after I was done, usually I roll it up right away and whatever, right? Well, this time I went around and I was feeding my sourdough and I looked back and I was like, oh, it's so pretty. Like I can see the books and like all of that. So I was, I was quite excited. So I can't wait to put that above my reading chair. Well, it's probably going to go a little behind it too because it's so long. I can't put it up to the ceiling, right? <laughs> So hopefully I get to see a lot of it. There. So I'm reading two books right now, which is late this year. It seems to be my, my thing, no more than two. Um, last year, at some point I would have like four. But this year I'm like, you know what? When you start one, try to concentrate to finish that one, start a second one. And the reason I do that is to prevent reading slumps. And that way, by the time I finish a book, I'm invested enough that I'm ready to jump in the other one and not go, uh, I don't feel like reading. I'm gonna take like a little break. You know what I mean? So let's do that one which is 38, which is DMC 904. Okay. Do that. So I think where I don't have the baby tomorrow, I think I might, I don't know. I was going to say I might do a bread. I still have one in in the fridge, but I think we're going to be probably done with it by Friday. And then I'll do the other one. Yeah, I'll just do it on Saturday. I think I'll be okay if I do it on Saturday. Today's Wednesday, so... Today's Wednesday, right? Yes, today's Wednesday. I had the baby Monday and Tuesday. So, yeah, I think it'll be okay. Because I still have a full one in. But I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do like two at once. 39, which is DMC 905. And then that'll be done. And then I might do the six up there too. And the good thing about doing it like an hour and then walking away and coming back is now I feel like, ooh, I have enough like oomph that I could probably do another hour. Right? Tomorrow is going to be a little bit more kind of scrunched for time because I need to at least do two videos. I would love to do three, but I don't think I'll have time to do three. Three, I'll, uh, hopefully a third one with doing another, um, we'll do the arrow here, which is DMC 728. But I'd love to do, I guess, four. One, with the, D, with the diamond painting and three more for scrapbooking, but I'll probably only have time to do two because I'll want to have time to come downstairs and like, I don't know, make another coffee or something because I'm doing a live tomorrow at one. So I want to make sure that I have time for a coffee and that kind of stuff. So let's do S. S is 45, 45. Okay. So we're doing S, right? Yeah, and that's DMC 976. So 
I'm thinking, and I still have to have time to feed my sourdough and that kind of stuff. I did half the dishes earlier. So now I have to do the other half. As soon as I'm done this, and then I'll put the dishwasher on. I don't wanna put the dishwasher on too early because then I won't be able to film. It'll be done before supper anyway. And then we'll get it unloaded and load the supper dishes. I don't know. I don't know what kind of meat we want to have. Oh, we might have. We might have leftovers. I'm going to check the dish that I did yesterday. I don't know how much is left. Oh, my husband probably won't want to have that for supper. Because he probably brought that for lunch. But, like today, I didn't know what to eat. I could have had that. So we'll probably have veggies and I just don't know. We had pork chops not that long ago. We had Italian sausage. Then yesterday we had beef, like hamburger in that casserole. Then we had chicken. It just feels like everything was not that long ago. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. I almost feel like I want to have Donair sometime soon, right? Have Donairs. Maybe we can have that maybe Friday night. Friday night, a few more S's, here we go, well, that turned out great, I didn't think I was going to do any over here, but if I'm going to do that, I might as well, I said I wasn't going to do that, but eh. let's do A, and I think then the A is just the A, where's A? 26. There's only three. Oh no, there's a few more. Okay, that's cool. That is cool. So we'll do A. Okay. I wanted to cut out some more die cuts today, but mm, I don't think I will. I don't think I will. I think I'll do that tomorrow. After I finish my live, I won't feel like doing too, too much. So maybe I can cut the veggies tomorrow because that's sitting down, so it's not too, too bad. And then cut that at the same time. Okay, we'll do like that wand thing. That's 52, 52, which is DMC 3826. And there's actually quite a bit of wands. That's okay. Like I said, even if I go a little bit over an hour and a half, I know it's long for you guys though, but my suggestion would be not to watch it all at once or if you're scrapbooking or if you're diamond painting yourself it's just nice to listen to <laughs> someone ramble about different things and then you don't feel like you're alone you know like you're sitting with a friend not necessarily looking at me placing diamonds but more listening you know what I mean to the stories and all that stuff I am, I have read up to now, I was looking at that this morning, 37 books. 
what, what? I'm four books ahead of schedule, which is not a lot. It doesn't take long to fall behind with four books, right? So I think in the month of April, I'm gonna try and only pick one book that's 600 pages. I'm gonna try. Chain of Gold, that's it. And then I'm gonna try and pick, I know I've picked two that are basically at 300 pages. And the rest, I'm gonna try and make it, you know, in the 300s, but so that I can do more than seven or eight books. I'd like to do like 10. So then maybe I'll be six books ahead of schedule by the end of May. Cause I think I'd like, cause last year I was 20 books ahead in August and then I barely made it. Last year was a weird year though, but I don't know why. I just did not feel like after those first eight months, I didn't feel like reading. So you read 80 books in the first eight months, 10 books a month, basically, right? And then it's like, no, I don't feel like reading. I was like, I was a having a hard time reading a chapter a day. I think I still read every day, but it was like, I had a hard time getting through a chapter. It was weird. It was weird. I don't want that to happen. So I don't want to kind of push it, but I feel like reading right now. So let's, let's lean into that and try to read a little bit more. Oh, I wish this was down a little bit more because my hand is sticking right there. I think next time we do this, I'll be able to open this. So, what, what? I think that means that it was done in two times. Because last time when I was doing this, I opened this one to kind of finish that day. So, that should be maybe a goal, you know? That the second day that I, with a section is my goal is to finish it and maybe open the other one and don't have to do much, just a little bit, just to say that it started. And then just feels like you're ahead of the game. See, if I wasn't recording, if I wasn't recording, this would be the perfect activity to put on an audiobook and just listen, right? Because you don't have to do much thinking. Once you figure out what symbol you're doing, it's just picking up and putting down. So it's not that difficult. So it would be the perfect activity to either listen to someone on YouTube or um, an audiobook. I do still enjoy it. I can't remember. I started before 2020. I know diamond painting got really big in 2020 because of everything that happened. People were, you know, stuck at home or whatever. And um, so diamond painting got really big. But I was doing diamond painting before that. I've not finished that many though. <laughs> I just don't spend enough time. Like maybe later on, and that's what I'm hoping, like when I'm, I don't have to work for myself and I just um, can just do this all day. 47, we're gonna do those. Um, maybe I can get a lot done. Maybe then just for fun, I can go live on YouTube and ch chat in real time, right? 
chat in real time and do diamond painting. That'd be fun. Now I have to try to fit it, you know, with my other stuff. So I already do lives for scrapbooking. So I think it'll be hard for me to stop the lives for scrapbooking. Although I was looking this morning, the last time I had, we're going to do number six. The last time I had a live for scrapbooking was the end of March. So I didn't do any in April. So I'm glad I'm doing one tomorrow. And then I'm going to schedule the one for next week right away. Right away, right away. I might do that this afternoon since I want to kind of rest there. And I could keep going right now, actually. But I think I'm going to stop after this just because I think we're going to be over the one and a half hours. So I think that's... That's a long enough video. <laughs> That's a long enough video to upload. And I'll probably pick this up again tomorrow and do a second video for next week. So that's it. We're going to stop it here for today. So if you're enjoying these videos, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.